A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Polym Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here, and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polym Update. Let us begin. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me Brittany White. It is Wednesday, May 3rd. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices fell sharply on Tuesday as U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned that the U.S. government could soon face an acute cash shortfall if Congress does not raise or suspend the country's debt limit, precipitating fears of a global economic crisis. The fall in prices was also triggered by rising expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve could raise key rates. Brent crude prices fell by $3.99, settling at $75.32 per barrel. While WTI futures decreased by $4, settling at $71.66 per barrel. On Tuesday, OpenSpec NAF the prices quoted steady at the $637 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In low density polyethylene. This week, LDPE prices were assessed lower in South Asia owing to weaker upstream crude values coupled with lower import offers from overseas suppliers. In India, LDPE prices were assessed at the $1,050 to $1,090 per metric ton CFR levels, a fall of $10 per metric ton from the previous week. In Sri Lanka, LDPE prices were assessed at the $1,190 to $1,230 per metric ton CFR levels, a fall of $10 per metric ton from the previous week. In Bangladesh, LDPE prices were at the $1,090 to $1,140 per metric ton CFR levels, a sharp drop of $50 per metric ton from last week. Are you looking to enhance your knowledge of polymer materials and their use in the automotive industry? Look no further. Polymer Update Academy and MIT Aurangabad have partnered to bring you a joint certification program, featuring a masterclass workshop on polymers in automotive applications, led by Prof. Prashant Gupta, a distinguished polymer technologist. Throughout this workshop, you'll learn about the mechanical, thermal, and chemical properties of polymer materials, their synthesis and properties, and their use in various automotive applications. You'll also have the opportunity to gain a joint certification from Polymer Update Academy and MIT Aurangabad, which will enhance your career prospects and validate your expertise in this field. Don't miss this chance to expand your knowledge and earn a valuable certification. For additional information, please check the details in the description box. Back to the Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene and polyvinyl chloride. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices displayed a mixed undertone in Asia. Prices declined in China on the back of weak PP futures. The pricing sentiment was steady in Southeast Asia, with a majority of PP producers heard to have raised their offers to boost their margins. Market players in Indonesia have reportedly adopted a weight and watch approach to assess the market situation before restocking their inventories. While the demand situation is largely stable in India, downstream demand fundamentals are likely to turn bearish over the coming weeks with the onset of the monsoon. In polyethylene. This week, PE prices dropped in some parts of Asia. Prices were assessed stable in China, as a few producers offloaded their inventories ahead of the Labor Day holiday from April 29 till May 3 with demand for finished products remaining weak. A steady pricing undertone was witnessed in Southeast Asia even as spot discussions were seen to be limited. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me Brittany White, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.